How's it going, everybody? Hope that everybody's doing good. This is my 96 Geo Tracker again. Uh, new rims and tires. Got the rims off eBay for like 250 bucks. They are metal, but you know, I don't want to spend a whole lot of money. I'm on a budget. Got the tires from Walmart. They are, uh, where's, your, where's your size? There he goes. 31 by 10 and a half by 15. So you can see it. A lot of people say you can't fit these tires on these. And uh, I guess I proved everybody wrong. Got a little bit of stick out. Let me show the inside of it. There's no rubbing in the back. The only had problem I got is in the front. When I turn, it's starting to hit the fender. Not enough clearance in between here. And the front bumper was hitting. So, do some modifications. I'm in the process of taking off the fender so I can put it on my workbench. I'm going to cut it up. And these are Wrangler. Uh, I think they're 7 or 8 inch fender flares. I'm going to put them on like this. I'm going to heat that up to bend it so it's like basically like that. Right? And uh, I don't want to work on this in the middle of the sun. So I'm going to take it off. Do everything I got to do on my bench. And... Uh, get on there you can see the stick out not so bad but I don't want to be driving and have everything slinging all over my old car eventually it will be getting painted and body work but this is my work car since I've this is my first car and I've always used it for work and everything else it's like a half track you know so uh, basically cut the fender up here wherever the layout of that flare is going to be it's going to be cut right underneath it and basically cut back here somewhere you know some people have told me take the fender off completely and just bolt up the fender flare right onto the frame so i'm gonna take a look once i take this off i'm gonna take a look exactly what it looks like back there I'm going to put them on and see what they look like. If not, then I'll be modifying these uh, fenders uh, to make it work so I can be able to turn. Another problem is my front bumper had to take it off because it was hitting right here. So I don't want to mess up the tires or anything. So I might just modify. You see it sitting right there. I might just modify it so it can have the clearance stuff like that uh, had the tires already for like two weeks with the rims but I haven't had time to work on it I'm on vacation and then start working on it different views of it it looks pretty nice so it's a four-door 96 geo tracker who knows, I might just make my own bumper, you know. I am a welder, fabricator. I could probably make something really nice. But, you know, sometimes it's cheaper to buy something made and put it on there and just make brackets to make it fit. I might just do that. I got a lot of projects and not enough time. So. Here's the... The box that came in with the flares. There's, there's the ones in the back too. So, let them get a little bit of sun here. That way it's easier to uh, bend the way I want it. Got my little fan. Little simple tools. Uh, all you need is a 10 millimeter. 10 millimeter, take off the top screws. You got one here. You got to open the door. Get to that one right there. Right? And I'm going to have to take off this plastic to be able to uh, get to the ones on the bottom. I think there might be two on the bottom. If I'm not mistaken, once I take this plastic, I'll have a better idea on it. I got to take the plastic inside out with isn't that hard you know maybe a phillips screwdriver 
and pop off the clips underneath. Uh, all together, you know, it's, it's, it's going to be a job to get it right. Uh, you know, people who like these geo trackers, there ain't many, many of them left. So, it's my first car. I'm messing around with it, you know. Everybody always jokes on me about having this 96 geo tracker, you know. Especially when they see me in Bogue later, they're like, hey, you still got that? I said, yeah, I still got it. Ain't going nowhere. So, uh, I'll do another video once I get it all cut out and mount it so you can see what it looks like. If you have any questions, just hit me up. You know, most of the stuff you can just find on eBay or maybe even Amazon, to tell you the truth. So it's up to you. Uh, well, let me get started. I'll post another video as soon as I get done. Uh, don't forget to like, share, help me out. Thank you.